Welcome to Biology. guys on my bar cart I decided to do a little bit different and put a little bit of twist to the fall because you know the usual fall colors are your burnt orange your lighter orange anything that's surrounding a pumpkin so therefore I want to throw another dark color on it that will make it exciting so guys I decided to do on my bar cart the burnt orange and navy blue and top it off with gold so guys I'm going to bring you along with what my bar cart looks like. So, guys, on my bar cart, I do have a navy blue cloth, and that is to keep your hands, if you're moving something around or you're getting your alcohol, you have something to dry your hands off with or to clean up your mistakes. Also, guys, you have plates, and these plates are from Pier 1. And also, I have gold wear, and it was from Walmart. So, on the other side, I have my closure, and inside my closure, y'all, I usually have pastries. And I do have the pastries, but I forgot to take them out of the freezer. But I will insert them to let you know, yes, I do have it. So, on the side, you will see the picture of it. Now, guys, here I am showing you what I call my famous fall drink. It's a cider, guys, but this is a new one that I did find, and it is the caramel apple. Will I drink it? No. I would do the pumpkin spice, and I will also do the apple cider, but I would not be drinking this one because it's caramel, and I'm not a fan of that caramel. But, guys, let's drop down now to the second part of my bar cart. Here on this side, you will see that I have my pumpkin straws. These things are so absolutely delicious. I buy them year round. My kids absolutely love them. And from time to time, I will sneak one and eat it. Now guys, up above, I decided to do velvet pumpkins, but I want to do it the bougie way. So this is a navy blue bougie pumpkin with a navy blue tassel. Also drop down, these are some candles. Holders, they are the burnt orange color and they did come from Dollar Tree. As if you look down, this is a burnt orange pumpkin and I did purchase that from Walmart for 98 cents. Now, if you look over, what do you see? What do you see, guys? You see my sparkling apple cider and also my two glasses that I purchased from Ross that is Z Gallery Inspired. And also, I want to add a little bit of flowers decor to my bar. So I have some navy blue flowers and I took two orange pumpkins in there. So guys, this is my bar card. I would absolutely like to thank two fantastic ladies here on our YouTube tune. And it is Miss Kimberly Davis and also it is Miss Marilyn. So ladies, thank you. This is wonderful. And of course, you know, I love doing things like this. But guys, I'm going to end my video now. Yeah, I think I've overdone my time. So guys, hope you do try, try one of these drinks and hope you did like my bar cart. But until the next time bar cart coming by, I will see you later.
Of course, you know who the taste test is because you know girlfriend will get tipsy off what? Apple cider. So, of course, you know, once again, I don't drink and I am forever putting stuff together. So, the first drink, I'm going to call it the fall kick in the butt. And that one is Kahlua coffee and pumpkin spice creamer. So, and it's sprinkled with a little bit of cinnamon sugar. It goes. Not bad. It's not bad, it's a good drink. It's, you can taste a little bit of alcohol in the Kahlua, but you can also taste like that coffee and the cinnamon in it. Kind of gives us a little flavor before I love like to drink Kahlua. I've drank Kahlua in the past, but it's not my favorite. But I know normally with Kahlua and cream is what normally people would drink it with, or sometimes with Kahlua and milk as well. Yeah, I saw this, but this is Von Dessa's touch. Mm -hmm. That is not bad. It's a good drink. I mean, I'm be drinking all that stuff. I'm just taking. It's not bad at all. Y'all, he getting over sick, so I guess he gonna really get kicked out of sickness now. Okay, the next one, guys. This is Grand Gala. It is the same thing as a four sip, triple sip. See, I don't know nothing about the liquor. Triple sip. But when, of course, you know girlfriend ain't gonna get the mini bottles and that's it. But when I asked the guy inside the liquor store, he said, this is the next thing to triple set because other than that, it came in a bottle like this and girlfriend was not buying that, no. So, and this one, it is orange spice tea and it would be triple set. Okay, it goes. And it is on ice. You can taste the flavors in it, the orange as well as the tea in it and with the ice on the rocks kind of make it look smooth and whatsoever um so it doesn't taste foul it tastes foul so so i don't fall mm -hmm. apple cider apple cider without the alcohol so guys you know I like to bring you three drinks. So I want to bring you something a little bit more fall because this is a fall bar cart. So uh, once again, the first one is called My Virgin and I call it the kick in the butt. The second one, because it's more of a ladies drink, well not this lady, but a ladies drink. So I'm gonna call her the fall simplicity. And you know I always got to have a drink after me, guys. Apple cider vinegar, the viology, okay? So, guys, I want y'all to welcome my hubby back. You know I am nine days post out of surgery, and girlfriend has lost, what, 10 pounds? So, <laughs> so guys, I want you to see if you tried these. I will insert everything inside my description bar and also in each one of these you will have a slide of what the drinks are and you think we're done yes i think we're done what i do i give you another little sneak peek of what my fall bar looks like so okay guys so which drink you think was the best my take on the drinks that was the best, I'm gonna have to go with the Kahlua. Are you serious? Yes. You're supposed to be doing a virgin drink and say a virgin drink like your wife. <laughs> That's a man for you, right? So, we're gonna go down the scale. And also, I just noticed the glasses went up to the highest. So, from one to 10, the kick in the butt, that's the Kahlua, one to 10. I'm gonna have to give it a nine. I mean, I like Your the taste. Your don't know about alcohol. I mean, I like the taste of the rum mixed in there with the cream, with the coffee, and the cinnamon. The cinnamon is what set it off. Okay. And 
The sophisticated lady. Sophisticated lady, I'm gonna give it a six. Um, You're trying to say she's not that sophisticated. Well, I'm just saying that the flavor, I mean, you got a lot of orange flavor and it was like less alcohol. But you love orange. God, y'all know love, my husband love orange. Yes, I love orange, but I mean, it was like not enough alcohol. Oh, so you saying it's a sophisticated so you trying to say it's sophisticated lady, so you rather have the more manlier drink. Well, more, yeah, alcohol in it. Now, orange is my fla my favorite flavor of all time and everything, but I mean, I taste more orange and tea in it and a lot less alcohol. So what do you think about my drink? Now, the virgin drink, the, that was good. I'll give it an eight, um, mainly because I mean, like the apple cider. Now, I do like apple juice and apple cider as well, too. And I just like that flavoring with the on the rocks. It just kind of set it off to give it that smooth taste. But you know the craziest thing? What's that? You know I hate apple juice. Really? But I like apple cider vinegar. I mean. May process the same just apple about. Apple cider. Apple cider. No, it's not. Apple cider is not from, con it's concentrated. Regular apple juice is strained. And some apple juices are concentrated. Now. Yeah, but I don't want it. Okay. I know y'all be like, well, you should go in that face. So, guys, this is just a little sneak peek and let you know what he think. And when I am that mix, I was just barber, bartender, what my drinks will actually be. Squirtle. Yep. Yeah. And my darling will. No, you don't. Bye, y'all. Bye. Subscribe.